Hey guys, what's going on? Jackson Studios here. I just wanted to share a bug fix for the Paragon Heroes in Unreal Engine 5.4 and most likely beyond as well. It's one of those bugs where I personally believe it will persist um, with future engine versions due to uh, the underlying issue, which was outlined by 3D Raven on the Unreal Engine forums. I want to give him credit and I will post a link to his profile in the description. But um, this is one of those bugs where it's, at least for my project, completely crashing it. I can't load it. I can't load any maps. And I was able to finally piece everything together and get it solved. I do have every single Paragon Hero in my project. So uh, it was definitely something that I wanted to get solved. So just to get right into it, the issue, again, as described by 3D Raven, is in, in so many words, when Paragon was made, the material parameter collection was a global and singular file for the entire project. Now the problem when you're trying to sell assets on the marketplace, or in this case it's free, but the fact that they put them on the marketplace for every hero means you have to include that file with every hero, even though for their project they only had one of these files. So it's essentially, I don't know if it's duplicating the GUIDs or um, what the exact underlying issue is, but the way to solve it is to essentially force delete any of those material parameter collections and replace it just with one. So what I did was I went to a random hero. In this case, it was just Wraith. It does not matter whatsoever which one you pick. You rename it to something that's different from the others just so it stands out. I titled mine official and then underscore Ryan Global Gameplay Collection. And what you want to do is um, secondarily after you do that is filter, go to material, and then go to material param parameter collection and have that checked off. And then what you can do is within your filters, uh, if I can find it, you just check it off and go to a higher level in your, in your folders so you can see every single hero that you have. And what that will do is it'll display every single one of them. And what you're gonna wanna do is just go one by one Clicking on delete, and I'll give you an example. I've got another um, uh, project pulled up here. You would essentially hit delete, and then you would search for, in this case, official. Again, this is a different project, so it's not gonna show up, but you would see your official gameplay, and then you would replace references on every single one of them. Uh, every single one that says Orion Global um, uh, Gameplay Collection. I'm on the art one right now, and I wanted to mention that as an aside. I did the same thing with the global art collection. I don't know if that's uh, needed. The global gameplay collection definitely needs to be done, but the art one, I'm, I just did it anyway. Uh, as an aside, I, again, not 100% positive if you need to do that, but it definitely didn't hurt anything when I was able to do that. So after you're done, this is something that wasn't mentioned, and I don't know if it's something related to my computer. I actually closed my project down because there was an issue with the uh, file still somehow being there. So after I closed my project down, I went to my content folder and what I ended up doing was I searched for global or I searched for Orion Global and what that uh, did was it actually still showed all the files that I had and for some reason there was still every single file showing. And so what I did was I actually deleted them from the content uh, folder as well, even though they were already deleted due to Unreal Engine. For whatever reason, my Windows uh, Explorer had to update as well. So it'll basically say, hey, Windows wasn't able to find these files. Do you want to continue? Do you just hit continue and they actually go away. And then once that's done, I open my project back up. All the files were deleted in both the Windows Explorer and the Unreal Engine. And we're on the last step here, which is to update your material functions. Now, I'm on that step right now, actually, but let me just basically uh, close out of my parameter collection and go to the material functions, which I don't, uh, let me see if I can pull that up here. If you search by material function, there's actually two material functions that you need to worry about. One of them is the MF underscore Orion rim light. And the other is, I have it in my notepad here, the MF underscore hit flash. 
and I'll post both in the description below. But essentially what you would want to do is just search for them. I'm just going to go back up to my content folder. I did most of them. Actually, I did all of them on the hit flash, but I still believe I have some on the um, rim light. Uh, uh, let's see, Orion rim light. There we go. And I'm still going one by one in these, so I'll give you an example. You're going to see the errors down below here. That's because we force deleted our uh, official Orion Global Gameplay Collection. Essentially just replace and then go to the other and then replace. Sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three. In this case, there's only two. Just hit apply, save, and you're just going to go one by one and do that for all of them. Once you're done, again, with the hit flash and rim light, applying each of those Orion Global Gameplay Collection parameters, that's the solution. So all of your heroes will start to look normal again. Like for example, I've got Howitzer, he's looking relatively normal again. Uh, I've got all the colors, I'm on kind of a low resolution right now, but as you can see, all of the um, colors are back on the heroes as they should be. So that's all guys. Thanks. Uh, if this video helped, let me know. If you still have questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. I hope you have a great day.